Are you interested in a career in the agricultural field? The next generation of agricultural scientists will help farmers battle tougher weeds, handle extreme weather, and grow more to meet an ever-increasing global demand for food. Why should you consider ag science? Because there's an ever-increasing demand for food worldwide every day, and not enough professionals to go around. This is a field that's looking for a crop of new talent, and it could be you. Crop physiologists work to understand the processes that make a better plant. They also learn about the internal makeup of a plant that will allow it to produce more seed with less water or expensive inputs. Dr. Jeff Ray is a crop physiologist working for the USDA. In agriculture, plant physiology is primarily concerned with those plant processes that are associated with productivity the production of an economic yield. Basically, plant physiologists try to understand why. Why plants function the way they do. Uh, this often leads to questions of what are the limitations of plant production or crop production and how do we overcome those limitations. That's the fundamental aspects of crop physiology or physiology associated with crop production. Crop physiologists often work closely with plant breeders in the development of varieties with superior traits. One of the reasons that plant physiology is important is because it serves as a bridge between various disciplines, disciplines like agronomy or plant breeding or genetics and even molecular biology. What plant physiology tries to do is integrate the knowledge of those disciplines toward the goal of increasing or improving crop production. The crop physiologist studies all things plants and experimental design along with lab work. Class requirements include plant biology, plant pathology, cytogenetics, organic chemistry, and weed biology. There will be uh, classes in how plants interact at both the whole plant level as well as uh, at the cellular level how plants function. These things will include classes in plant physiology as well as biochemistry, uh, in some cases even mathematical modeling of uh, plant uh, processes. There really isn't a undergraduate degree in crop physiology. Uh, mostly you would have to get a master's degree or go on for a, a PhD. To fully realize the opportunities, yes, uh, I would highly recommend an advanced degree in plant physiology if you want to be a physiologist. The profession of crop physiology is vast and gives the prospective scientist a lot of specialties and job opportunities. Yes, with a degree in crop physiology, you can specialize in uh, anything from molecular biology, molecular genetics, all the way up to how whole fields uh, uh, function in a production system. I think there are a lot of job opportunities at the moment for a whole plant crop physiologist, someone that's working in the field and working on solving problems in the field. In the in industry, there is a demand for people with knowledge of how to work in the field, to set up experiments and interpret what they're getting from those experiments. There are a, uh, both field and laboratory opportunities in plant physiology because plant physiology covers the whole range from molecular biology, which is laboratory based, to whole plant physiology, which is going to be in the field or the community of a soybean field or other crops. And, uh, and oftentimes it's a mix of a range from laboratory to field. And personally, that's what I like about plant physiology is that it is a range of both laboratory and field work, as well as greenhouse and growth chamber and other activities. You don't have to have a farming background to excel at crop physiology. A farm background is not required for uh, plant physiology, although you will have to learn, if you're working in agriculture, what it takes to produce a uh, crop, whatever crop you're working on. In our case, it's soybeans, but uh, physiologists work with all agricultural crops, and a fundamental understanding of the basics of crop production is important. The profession of crop physiology attracts people who are curious, persistent, and have a desire to figure things out. Probably the thing I enjoy most is the variation of what I do. Uh, uh, it's from working at the computer, to working in the field, to working in the laboratory, 
provides a, a lot of variation and you're not doing the same thing over and over and over. If you would like to learn more, check with your local extension agent or go to msstate.edu. Someone has to be there to ensure that we feed the world. You can be that someone. Take care and keep learning.